Uh, good evening. We've got the form for Flemington and uh, Rose Hall for the Saturday for the fabulous race. It is the All Star Mile at Flemington, which will be run on a good track almost certainly. And then we go to uh, Rose Hall for the Golden Slipper, where the track will be soft something. We don't know what it'll be, but unlikely to be good. I think probably it'll end up around a soft six with. Uh, few showers predicted over the next two or three days. Okay, Flemington race six, and this is the All-Star Mile. So let's just look here at the uh, picture. And this tells us, gives us an idea of how everything's going to go. So uh, Cascadian, always like Cascadian. If we just look at the form, you'll find that uh, it's been running in group one and group two, but mainly group one races. But out of the last 16, it's running all group one race and group two races. Um, its form over the mile is 15 starts for three wins, four placings. Yes, it's getting a little bit older and a lot of the races have been close without winning. But nevertheless, it's still the one to be on. I do like I'm Thunderstruck. Uh, two runs from a spell. Third up this time will be going well. Toffany. Toffany's going well. First up was a winner. Second up was third. All very close. And Lightsaber, I have to throw the Colt in as a bit of a chance. Okay, so basically we're sticking to this one and we can see how the uh, map works out. We should expect Cascadian to be right up there towards the finish along with I'm Thunderstruck, Toffany, and throwing Lightsaber the Colt in as another option. The rest of them are pretty well bunched and that's how it'll probably end up. Of course something will um, come along and throw a spanner in the weeks, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick to Cascadian each way. And I might take these first four and I'll probably throw um, one or two of these in. Zaki and King Magnus mainly <coughs> to get into the first four. Moving on to Rose Hill. This is the George Ryder. Um, once again, I do like these top three here. As you can see, the uh, final picture puts it in with Colette, Forbidden Love and High Lal. High Lal uh, went great last prep and uh, as did Colette is going very well as well. Okay, moving on in uh, race eight at Rose Hill. We have um, a very wide betting market here. As you know, Coolangatta is the favourite at $4.50. is totally unbeaten at the moment. Will be hard to beat once again, but I'd be sticking to these top three. Number 11, Queen of the Bell, Coolangatta, Russian Conquest. And we've got a let the uh, Colts have a shot at it as well. So that throws in number two, Sir Jardin, um, as the best of the Colts. So it's 2, 8, 10 and 11. We quite often get the uh, trifecta and we certainly quite often get the winner also. The problem we've got is that um, it's uh, likely to be, as I said, a slow track. Some of these prefer to have the, a good track, uh, particularly Cool and Gatter would be uh, especially good on the, on the good track, I would think, and uh, as would Queen of the Ball. But um, last start, if we look at Queen of the Ball, was able to win on the soft five, on the slow six, I was beaten two lengths before that was on a good track, beaten just on, uh, sorry, winning by uh, just under four lengths. Okay, so hasn't run in a group one yesterday uh, yet, has the chance. Um, you'll notice the barrier position is good for Queen of the Ball. Um, the wide barrier for Russian Conquest and Cool and Gatter uh, can be overcome. Let's face it, we've got the best um, jockeys in the business. And uh, Sir Jadan in Barrier 7 uh, should get a good run during the race. That's all I'm going to give you this week. I do wish you good luck and uh, thanks for watching.